A Winthrop police lieutenant behind bars accused of disturbing sex crimes against a young girl. We have also confirmed this man was a DCF licensed foster parent. This is video of James Feely walking into court today in handcuffs. He wanted to hide his face, but the judge wouldn't allow it. Boston 25 News reporter Joe Kanapka live for us outside the Winthrop Police Department. And Joe, prosecutors say the officer confessed at his own parents' gravesite. That they did. Very shocking details surrounding this case. Up until this very moment, Lieutenant James Feely, a foster parent, a decorated, beloved, well-respected officer serving the community where he grew up, is now being held on $200,000 cash bail and is currently on paid administrative leave here at the Winthrop Police Department. As authorities have stated, he confessed to these crimes against this child to his own police chief on Christmas night, and the authorities telling police that this child told hospital staff this has been going on for the last year. The oral motion to remain out of view was denied. 56-year-old Winthrop Police Lieutenant James Feely had hoped to hide his face from court cameras. At arraignment on charges including aggravated statutory rape of a child and two counts of indecent assault and battery on a minor. According to court papers, the juvenile victim was less than 12 years old and the assaults happened at unknown dates and times in Winthrop. Court-appointed attorney Nitin Dalal told the judge Feely is battling mental health issues, confessed to the crimes, and no Knows he is going to have to face justice. Mr. Feely is the one who brought this to light. He was in, uh, he's feeling guilt, remorse, embarrassment, humiliation, not only for himself, but for his family, the alleged victim. Uh, for his department. According to these court documents, Winthrop's police chief, Terrence Delahanty, was contacted on Christmas night while off duty and requested to come here to the Belle Isle Cemetery. He was met by Feely, members of Feely's family, as well as the police chief's brother, the sergeant, who is also on the force. Near his parents' gravesite Christmas night, the arrest narrative reveals Feely admitted to, quote, touching, rubbing, and more harmful acts on the child. And it says was apologetic for his actions. Chief Delahanty believed his lieutenant was suicidal before Feely surrendered his handgun. When it's somebody that is supposed to protect you, your family, your friends, things like that, um, it just kind of makes you a little bit scared. Winthrop resident Jackie Mula feels for the victim, Feely's family, as well as Feely. At least he turned himself in and admitted to what he had done so that he can get the proper help and hopefully so can that child and their family as well. And tonight, the State Department of Children and Families is issuing a statement stating they are, quote, investigating these disturbing allegations against a foster parent, also ensuring to the public tonight that no foster children are currently staying at this residence. Now, coming up tonight at 6 p.m., Suffolk County District Attorney Kevin Hayden is also weighing in. Reporting from Winthrop tonight, for your local station, I'm Jill Kanafka, Boston 25 News.